Good afternoon and welcome back to Pruitt Hall as we are about to tip off Lee University against your West Alabama men's basketball team. Coming in to today's game, West Alabama has a 15 and four record and an eight and three GSC record. Lee has a 10 and five overall record and a six and three GSC record. Currently in the conference standings, West Alabama is in third place at eight and three and Lee is at fourth place with a six and three record. So this is a big time GSC matchup here at Pruitt Hall. Got a good crowd on hand, but there's still time to come on out and support your Tigers in this big GSC game. Tigers had a tough one on Thursday night as they fell to Lee, or excuse me, not Lee, fell to Union, 88 to 80. But a very back and forth game and then just late in the game, couldn't get anything going and fell to Union 88 to 80. Both teams have taken the court for their pregame warm-ups. Lee is going to be in their road maroon jerseys, and the Tigers will be in their home white jerseys with white numbers and white letters. And do not have the starting lineups in yet for either team. So we'll bring those to you once we get them. And. We've got about a minute until we get things going here at Pruitt. So we will take a quick look at what other games are going on in conference play today. In men's basketball, Shorter is on the road at UAH and currently on top at UAH, seven to six. West Florida and Valdosta State are playing in a big time GSC game. And currently, we'll pull up the live score. Currently at, the, at halftime, West Florida leads at 40 to 37. That game being played in Valdosta, Georgia. West Georgia and Mississippi College have already gone final today. And West Georgia got the win 67 to 51. And Auburn Montgomery is hosting Union today and currently leads at 12 to four down in Montgomery. So we will take a short break and we come back, we will have tip off here from Pruitt Hall in this GSC basketball game. You're listening to West Alabama Men's Basketball on SLA 104.9. Welcome back to Pruitt Hall here in Livingston, Alabama. As we are just moments away from tip off, we've got the starters in, so we'll go over them pretty quickly. For Lee, it'll be at guard, six foot seven senior out of Columbia, Tennessee, number one, Quake Kennedy. And at guard and four tonight, six foot four junior out of Cleveland, Tennessee, number three, B.U.N. Hendricks. And at guard, six foot five redshirt junior out of Jasper, Alabama, number 15, Jace Willingham. At guard, six foot five redshirt senior out of White Plains, Alabama, number 25, Michael McWork. And at forward, number 33, Jason Lamon. And we have the Tigers starting lineup in as well. And it will consist of, at forward, six foot four junior out of Bolton, Mississippi, number zero, Shadarian Allen. And six foot junior out of Pelham, Alabama. At guard, number two, Justin Allison. And at guard, six foot two senior out of Clinton, Mississippi, number four, Robert Davis. And number five, at forward, six foot four junior out of Montevallo, Alabama, Tay Smith. 
And that guard, a six foot five junior out of Dallas, Texas, number 55, Cortric Miles. Tigers are coached by head coach Nick Woodruff, and he's assisted by Jake Joblin and Trey Moore. Lee is coached by head coach Bubba Smith, and he's assisted by Nathan Morin, Ryan Montgomery, and Prince Regular. And that is both teams' starting lineups. And again, my name is Mark Gillum, and I'm joined alongside with Daniel Tully. Daniel, how are you doing tonight? You can't hear I'm me. doing well, Mark. I think we're in for a really good game, and I'm excited to watch the rematch between Lee and our UWA Tigers as we take them on here at home this time. That is right. Again, Tigers fell at Lee on January 8th, 66-63. Tigers got down early in that one and came back and made it a ball game and lost in the final minute to Lee. And head official brings the ball to center court. Courtrick is jumping. And tip-off is won and controlled by Robert Davis and Courtrick Miles. Davis, top of the arc, has got it. Right side to Allison. Allison drives in, spins around, looking right side, gets it to Smith. Smith inside to Courtrick. Courtrick, right short corner, drives in, kicks it outside to Smith. To Davis, Davis to Allen. Allen dribbles, jump shot up and good to give the Tigers its first lead. Two nothing is your score. Hendricks has it, gets it left side. Ball goes left side, inside goes to Lamon. Lamon kicks it outside to Kennedy. Kennedy pivots, brings it back out, guarded by Davis. Top of the arc, Kennedy's got it, dribbles it left side. Left side pass goes to Willingham, back to Kennedy. Kennedy back to Willingham, driving in, kicks it out to Kennedy. Kennedy long, three balls up, no good. Rebound goes to Allison. Allison crosses midcourt on the right side. And he Picks up his dribble, gets it to Courtrick. Courtrick driving in all the way, layup is up, no good. Rebound goes to Jason Lehman. Kennedy's got it, driving in on the right side. Kicks it out to Willingham. Willingham up top to Lehman. He hands it off to Hendricks. Hendricks right side to Willingham, who shoots a three, misses it, gets it to Davis with the rebound. Davis has it, dribbles it right side on the right wing. Up top to Courtrick. To the corner, Smith for three, too long. Rebound goes to Lee. Ball goes out of bounds, it'll be Tiger basketball. And they'll say it last touched off of the Lee player that was trying to rebound it. Looked like it hit off his foot. And looks like Justin Allison will be the one inbounding it here for the Tigers. He gets it to Kortrick in the corner. Kortrick, right short corner, driving in all the way. Stops, jump shots up, jump shots good. 4 nothing Tiger lead. Kennedy coming the other way with it, gives it to Hendricks. Hendricks crosses midcourt, top of the arc. Gets it in to Lamon at the free throw line. He hands it off to Hendricks. Hendricks, three ball up, no good. Rebound controlled by Allen. Allen crosses midcourt, left side. Hands it off to Smith. Smith, right side to Davis. Davis, cross court to Miles. Miles, jump shots up, and it's good. Six nothing, Tiger lead. What a tough shot by Korchuk right there. He's such a pure scorer for the West Alabama offense. Willingham gets it up top to Kennedy. Kennedy, left side to McGuirk. McGuirk back to Kennedy. Kennedy on the right side, gets it left side to McGuirk. Three balls up, no good. Rebound Justin Allison. Allison coming the other way with it on the brink. He stops on the left side. Brings it out, gets it to Allen. Allen in the block, pump fake. Kicks it outside to Miles. Jump shot's up, jump shot's good. Tigers lead it 9 nothing. 17 10 to go in the first half. Timeout lead. Big time start here for the Tigers to have the 9-0 lead with 17-10 remaining. What do you think about this game so far, Daniel? I think uh, we're off to a quick start. Uh, Courtrick Miles is being a real help off the offensive start that, line that we have. He's such a pure scorer, he's so hard to guard, and what's crazy is these teams come in ready to double team him, and yet he's already off to a hot start, and if he gets hot early, the team's gonna be in for trouble. That's right. Tigers this year defensively have been playing so good 
And in that game against Union on Thursday night, they gave up 88 points, and that is something that they do not want to do. And we have now returned to action here as Hendricks gets it right side to Willingham. Willingham up top to Lamon. Lamon right side to Kennedy. Kennedy right side to Hendricks. Hendricks inside to Willingham, backing down the post. Turns around, jump shots up, and it's good, and he's fouled. So he will head to the foul line to shoot one. Great contest by Smith. It's just a little bit too far, and the ref, unfortunately, is going to catch that. Jace Willingham from about two hours north of here in Jasper, Alabama. Free throw is up, and it is good to make it 9-3. Tigers are still on top, up six. Davis to Allison. Allison crosses midcourt, top of the arc. Calls out the Tiger play. Dribbles it left side, left wing. To Davis, left corner, three ball up, and it's good. 12-3 is your score, Tigers are on top. 16-33 to go in the opening half. Kennedy crosses midcourt, right side. Hands it off to Hendricks. Hendricks drives in, brings it back out. Left side to Lamon. Lamon back to Hendricks. Hendricks, right side pass goes to Willingham. He drives in, goes up, shot blocked by Tay Smith. Willingham got it back, blocked again by Tay Smith, and he is fired up. Allison on the break, Allison to Allen, Allen reverse left, is up again, and the Tigers are up 14-3. What a defensive sequence right there, two back-to-back -back walks leading to the reverse layup. Kennedy, top of the arc, right side of Willingham. Willingham to Kennedy, Kennedy dribbles it on the left side, driving in, he goes up, layup is up, no good, rebound Allen. Defense is playing a crucial role right now for the Tigers as they take an 11-point lead. Allison, top of the arc. To Smith, Smith to Allen. Allen, right wing to Miles, right corner, driving baseline. He stops, lost it. Willingham got it for Lee. To Kennedy, Kennedy to Hendricks. Hendricks, right side, driving in. Brings it back out, resets things for the Flames. He drives back in, layup is up, no good. Rebound goes into the hands of Willingham. His shot's no good. Back to Willingham, he goes back up with it. No good, rebound Robert Davis. Smothering defense so far by the Tigers. Nothing going down low for the Flames. Davis on the right side. Right wing, he's got it. Hands it off to Allen, to Miles. Miles driving right side, loses it, falls on the ground to get it. And they call a jump ball. Possession error is in favor of Lee, and we'll have a media timeout. Good guys on top, 14-3 with 14.53 remaining here in the opening half. You're listening to West Alabama men's basketball. Welcome back to Pruitt Hall. Join with me, Mark, Daniel Tully, myself, and we are back with the defensive onslaught the Tigers have been putting on so far in the game. The first five minutes have been defined by the defensive effort as the Tigers have taken a commanding 14-3 lead and look to continue so far as the lead bring the ball up. Hendricks crosses midcourt, right side to Willingham. Willingham to Kennedy. Kennedy, left side pass goes to McGuire. McGuire to Hendricks. Hendricks to Willingham. Shot denied. Martin picks it up, gets it to Allen. Excuse me, Allison. Another snatch away right there by Cal. Allison, top of the arc, hands it off to Calvin Finch. Finch, back to Allison, right side. Inside to Bryce Martin. Martin on the block, goes up strong, layup is up and good. And the Tigers are now up 16-3. 
with 14.20 to go. They are firing on all cylinders right now, and it is hard to stop them at the moment. Hendricks, left side to Kennedy. Kennedy, left wing, up top to Bowler. Bowler, right side to Willingham. Willingham, right wing, up top to Kennedy. Kennedy, right side to Bowler. Bowler dribbles it. Left side pass goes to McGuire. McGuire to Kennedy, left block, back and down. Guarded by Davis. Kicks it outside to Bowler. He passes it to Hendricks. Three balls swatted by Allison, and Bryce Martin came up with the rebound. Davis, top of the arc for the Tigers. Dribbles it right side. Driving in right side, he stops, pump fake. Gives it to Martin, right side. Bryce Martin pump fakes, back to Davis, right block. Backing down the paint, turn around, fade away, jump shots up, no good. Ball is controlled by Hendricks. Hendricks gets it left side of McGuire. McGuire to Kennedy. Kennedy resets things here for Lee. Bowler's got it right side. Pass goes to Hendricks. Hendricks drives in and gives it to Willingham. His shot is up and good. Man, it looked like he jumped up so high on that shot. Wow, nearly jumped over Allison there. So, Jace Willingham will head to the foul line. This will be a second trip to the charity stripe tonight. He's one for one with all of Lee's points. Robert Davis checks out. CJ, CJ Milton checks in. Yeah, CJ <laughs> coming in, and I was going to say, it looks like Coach Wilson is over here. Woodruff, I'm, I'm my mistake. Coach Woodruff over here looking to bring in some more defensive powers. Allison's got it. Lee now full court pressing the Tigers. Allison to Allen. Allen crosses midcourt, right side. He stops to Melton. Melton left side. Screen set by Finch. Melton left wing to Allison. Allison to Allen. Allen right side to Martin. Martin to Allison. Allison to CJ, CJ Milton to Allen. Shadarian backing down the post. At six, ball poked out of bounds. It'll be Tiger basketball with five seconds on the shot clock. 12.50 to go here in the first half. This GSC game between two top four teams in the conference. Watch the inbound here as we have two bigs capable of catching lobs off this under the goal inbound. Allison gonna inbound it and he gets it into Martin. Martin to Allison at three, at two, at one. He's got to fire something up, and he does. And no good. And it hit the top of the backboard, so they call out of bounds. Courtrick Miles set to check into the game. Kevin Hill also for Shadarian Allen and Bryce Martin. Good minutes there by Bryce Martin. He's got two points, one rebound there. And for Lee, P.J. Smith dribbles it left side. He stops, gives it to Bowler. Bowler back to Smith. Smith driving in, floaters up. No good. Rebound goes to Quartrick Miles. Miles coming the other way with it. Crosses midcourt, top of the arc. On the right side to Allison. Allison right wing. He pivots and he begins to dribble. Three-point shot up and no good. Rebound goes into the hands of Pete, of. Makai McGuire, excuse me. Gives it to Kennedy. Kennedy crosses midcourt, top of the arc, driving in left side, goes up strong, and he's going to be fouled by CJ Melton. Kennedy. Sets in at the free throw line. First one up, and it's good to bring Lee within 10. Robert Davis checks into the game for Justin Allison. Allison's got three rebounds and three assists so far in this one. Kennedy, second one's up, and no good. Rebounded by Courtrick Miles. Miles hands it off to Davis. Davis. Crosses midcourt, top of the arc now. Guarded by Smith. Dribbles it left side, left wing. Gives it to Quartrick Miles, jump shots up, and it's blocked by Lee. Miles got it back, goes up strong, layup up, put back by Calvin Finch. I'm surprised Finch didn't put that one back like he usually does. <laughs> Smith, left side to Willingham, excuse me. McGuirk, McGuirk gives it to Bowler, left block, 
back in on the post. Hands it off, layup up, no good. Foul called on CJ Melton. Man, tough call there. We got immediate timeout, so we'll take another break. 11 and a half minutes to go. Tigers are on top, 18-7. You're listening to West Alabama Men's Basketball on Slough. Seven, with 11 and a half minutes to go. At the line for Lee is Micaiah McGuire. Free throws up and good. I'll tell you right now, the difference so far in the game is stats such as the three blocks that West Alabama has, the steal, and the rebounding is just standing out clear as day right now, which is why you see the 10-point lead. Second free throw up and good. And so on the court for the Tigers, Caven Hill, Courtrip Miles, Calvin Finch, Robert Davis, and Justin Allison. Allison crosses midcourt, splits a double team, lost the ball, picked up by McGuire, McGuire, left side to McGuirk. McGuirk drives in, gives it to Kennedy. Stolen by Robert Davis. Davis almost went out of bounds, but he kept his feet. Crosses midcourt, right side. On the right wing, he drives in. He kicks it out to Allison. Allison pivots, and he loses it, goes out of bounds, and they'll say Tiger basketball. Everybody on that lead bench thought that it would be Lee basketball. Yeah, they certainly did. Obviously, the refs saw something, they did it. And so, Jace Willingham will check back into the game for Lee. Looks like Noah Bowler comes out. So, Allison will inbound it, and he gives it to Miles. Miles hands it off to Allison. Allison, left side at 12 on the shot clock. Shot clock ticking at eight. Right side to Davis. Davis drives in at six, goes up strong, layup no good. Rebound controlled by Kennedy. He's coming the other way, gives it to McGuirk kicks it out to the corner, three ball up, and good. 18-12 is your score, 10 and a half to go. Allison on the right side, right wing now, and he gives it to Miles, top of the arc, back to Allison. Allison, right side, drives in baseline, he stops under the basket, hands it off to Miles, pump fake, goes up strong, layup is no good. Rebound goes to Robert Davis. Davis gives it to Miles. Miles left short corner. He pivots, driving baseline. Reverse layup is no good again. Rebound is controlled by Lee. Coming the other way is McGuire on the left side. Left short corner, back in on the post. Goes up strong, layup is no good. Rebound goes to Lee, put back up and good to make it a four point game. 9.48 to go here in the first half. 18-14 here in this GSC contest. Allison, right side, three ball up, no good. Rebound goes to McGuire. McGuire hands it off to Kennedy. Kennedy, left side to Hendricks. Hendricks, top of the arc, hands it off to Kennedy. Kennedy driving in left side, goes up strong, layup is no good. Allison with the rebound. Lee is on a 7-0 run here in the last two minutes. Allison, top of the arc, hands it off to Davis. Tigers look to slow things down here a bit. 
Allison to Miles. Miles, left short corner. Driving in at the free throw line. Gives it to Hill, to Allison. Allison driving in at 11, at 10. Spins around, loses it, gets it back. Goes up strong, shot block. Goes out of bounds, Tiger basketball. Shadarian Allen and Tay Smith check into the game for the Tigers for Kevin Hill and Calvin Finch. Tigers are going to have to do something pretty quick with the ball. There's only seven seconds left on the shot clock here. Allison to Miles, left short corner. Driving in at four, at three, at two. Goes up strong, layup is up, no good. Rebound goes to Lee. Coming the other way is Willingham. Willingham hands it off to McGuire. McGuire, left side pass goes to McGuirk. Three ball up, no good. Rebound goes to Shadarian Allen. Allen to Davis. And Davis begins to walk it up. Davis, top of the arc, 8.28 to go in the first half, 13 on the shot clock. Allen drives in, jump shots up, no good, rebound goes to Lee. Hendricks coming the other way with it, crosses midcourt, top of the arc now. He drives in, gets past Kortrick, stolen by Tay Smith. Smith going the other way, Tigers have numbers. Allen on the break, layup is up and good to make it 20 to 14. McGuire crosses midcourt, gives it right side to Hendricks. Hendricks hands it off to Willingham, back up top, back to Hendricks, right side to Willingham. Willingham on the block, gives it to Lamon. He goes up, count the basket, the foul. And he will head to the foul line to shoot one. And we got a muted timeout. So we'll take another break as the Tigers are on top, 20 to 14. You're listening to West Alabama men's basketball on Sly 104.9. Welcome back to Pruitt Hall here in West Alabama. Currently the Tigers are on top, 20 to 16, with 7.39 to go here in the first half. At the line for Lee is Jason Lamon. After making a layup, he got fouled by Robert Davis. That was his first personal foul of the game. Currently, the only reason this is really a close game is the fouls. As you can see, this is now the sixth attempt that the Flames have had, and the Tigers have not even gone to the line once yet. Davis crosses midcourt after the made free throw to make it 20 to 17, seven and a half minutes to go. Davis, right side to Allen. Allen at the free throw line, turns around, pivots, jump shot up. No good. Rebound goes to Robert Davis. Came out of nowhere to get that. He drives in, layup up, no good. Lehman with the rebound. I can't believe there was not a foul call on that one. Currently, the Tigers have five team fouls and the Flames still have zero. And Lehman threw it away, so it'll be Tiger basketball. Justin Allison will trigger it in and he gets it to Davis. Davis gets it back to Allison. 16 seconds on the shot clock. Allison drives in right side, right wing now. 
up top to Davis. Davis at nine, at eight, at seven, driving in right side. And a foul is now called on, I'm not sure who they got. They got number 33, Jason Lamon with the foul. His first personal foul of the ball game. Neither team is shooting the ball very well at the moment since the Tigers have hit a dry spell for the past few minutes. That's right, one for 10 on their last 10 shots. Allison set to trigger it in under the Tiger basket, gets it to Miles, back to Allison. Allison drives in, foul called. And they get number 13, PJ Smith on the foul. So Allison gets it back to Miles. Miles driving in right side, goes up, shot block, gets his own rebound, goes back up with it, and he's fouled. So Kortrick will head to the foul line to shoot two. This will be the Tigers' first trip to the foul line tonight. And they needed it badly as the Tigers need something to break this drought that they've hit, and this could be exactly what they need. Miles, first free throw up. And it's good to put the Tigers up four. Second free throw up and good for Quartrip Miles. Miles having a nice night, eight points, four rebounds, 11 minutes here in the first half as Hendricks gets it left side to Lamon. Lamon hands it back off to Hendricks. Hendricks Right side to Kennedy. Kennedy driving in, goes up, and doesn't get the basket to fall. Lamon with the rebound. His shot misses. Kennedy with the rebound. He goes back up. He kicks it out to Hendricks. Three ball up, and rims in and out. Rebound goes to Lamon. He goes back up, and he gets the layup to go. 22-19, 6.20 to play. Davis crosses midcourt on the right side. Gets it to Allen. Allen. Right short corner, back and down. Turns around, fadeaway jump shot up, and no good, Lambin with another rebound. Hendricks has it, across his midcourt, right side. He stops, top of the arc. Right side pass goes to Willingham. He drives in, stops, spins around, layup up, no good. Tay Smith, Justin Allison with the rebound. And Jace Willingham looked like he was fouling Allison. They never caught anything. And Davis came up with it. Davis on the right wing. And he drives in, brings it back out, resets things here. Right side to Miles. Miles, turn around, jump shot up, and no good, but he's fouled. We'll see if they actually count that as a shot attempt. Portrick is very good at drawing fouls to the swipe through, and he did it there. I don't know if they're going to count this as an on the shot attempt or not. It looks like we have a media timeout, so we'll take a short break. Tigers are on top, 22-19, five and a half to go in the first half. You're listening to West Alabama men's basketball. Welcome back to Pruitt Hall as the Tigers have a 22-19 lead over the Flames of Lee out of Cleveland, Tennessee in this GSC game. Portrait Miles at the free throw line. So it looks like they will count that foul as a shot attempt. First one's up, first one's good. 
to put the Tigers up four. Second one is up and it is good to put the Tigers up 24-19 with 5.36 to go here in the first half. Bryce Martin checks in for Courtrip Miles. Miles with 11 points, four rebounds. Having a nice night as McGuire gets it to Kennedy. Kennedy left side to McGuirk and he gets it to Bowler. Bowler left side, hands it off to Hendricks. Hendricks left side to McGuirk, back to Hendricks, right side to McGuire who shoots a three, misses it. Rebound is controlled by Quay Kennedy. Kennedy right wing, and he gets it inside to McGuire, and he feeds it to Lee, and the shot was blocked, and he missed it. And Bryce Martin came with the rebound. Very physical game playing right now between the Flames and the Tigers. Tigers need a basket here, one of their last 12 for the ball game. Martin to Finch, Finch to Allison. Allison, right wing. Inside to Martin, right short corner, back in on the post, turns around at nine, at eight, shot up, no good. Rebound is controlled by Michael McGuirk. McGuirk gets it to Kennedy. Kennedy crosses midcourt, top of the arc. Dribbles it right side, right wing, cross court pass to McGuirk. He drives in, under the basket, goes up strong. No good, but he's fouled on the play, so he'll shoot two. And that foul is on number 11, Bryce Martin. His first personal foul of the ball game. Excuse me, second, no, first personal foul. And McGuirk, first one up, no good for Michael McGuirk. McGuirk out of White Plains, Alabama. Second one is up and good to make it 24, 20 with 4.28 to go. Looks like Lee will apply a little bit of full court pressure as Robert Davis gets it back to Allison. Allison crosses mid court on the right side, calls out the Tiger play now at the top of the arc. Left side to Davis, Davis left wing, up top to Martin. Martin to Hill, Hill right side. Dribbles it, left side to Davis. Davis at 11, at 10 on the shot clock. Top of the arc, inside to Finch. Turnaround jump shots up for Calvin Finch, and it is up and no good. Rebound goes to Lee. Coming the other way with it is Hendricks on the right side. And he gets it left side to Smith, left side to Willingham. Willingham to Smith, Smith. Calls for a screen and he gets it, top of the arc. Cross court pass to Willingham in the corner. And he gets it inside to Bowler, back to Willingham. No, it doesn't, Bowler's got it, left, left block, turn around, Willingham, and it's Kevin Hill who got a hand on it in the passing lane and forced that ball to go out of bounds and it'll be Lee basketball. And we come back from this media timeout. Good guys on top, 24-20 with 3.38 to go here in the first half. You're listening to West Alabama men's basketball. Welcome back to Pruitt Hall here on the campus of the University of West Alabama in Livingston, Alabama. Currently the Tigers are on top 24-20 with 3.38 to go here in the first half. P.J. Smith set to trigger it in for the Flames. And he gets it into the corner to Bowler. Bowler. 
kicks it out to Smith. Three ball up and no good. Ball goes back to Smith. He drives in, layup is up. Offensive charge called on P.J. Smith. Nice job, Justin Allison, to step in and take that charge. And force the lead turnover. Seems like the Tigers finally get a call to go their way. On the court for the Tigers is Justin Allison, Robert Davis, Shadarian Allen, Cortric Miles, and Tay Smith. And for Lee, Kennedy, Hendricks, Willingham, Lamon, and McGuire is your Flames lineup. Allison, top of the arc, driving right side, stops, kicks it to Davis. Davis in the right corner to Allison. Allison, top of the arc, drives in left side, kicks it out to Davis in the corner. Davis fakes a pass, three ball up, no good. Rebound goes to Tay Smith. Smith to Allison. Allison to Courtrick Miles for three, no good. Rebound is then controlled by Quay Kennedy. Kennedy coming the other way with it for the Flames. Crosses midcourt, left side to Hendricks. Hendricks drives in, kicks it outside to McGuire. McGuire driving back in, and he passes it. Looked like he passed it out of bounds, but they say it last touched off of a Tiger. So it'll be Lee basketball. Kennedy sets to trigger it in, and he gets it into Hendricks. Hendricks back to Kennedy, right block, back and down, guarded by Davis. He pump fakes, kicks it out to Willingham. Willingham shoots a three, misses it. Rebound goes to Corporate Miles. And Miles has it right side for the Tigers on the right wing. Throws it to the corner to Smith, to Allison, left wing. Allison gives it to Allen. Left short corner, he pivots, drives in, goes up strong, shot blocked, and it goes out of bounds. But it'll still be Tiger basketball. 2.19 to go here in the opening half. Tigers are up 24-20 in this one. Miles to Allen. Allen, left short corner at seven, at six to Allison. At five, three ball up, no good. Rebound is in control by Lee. And Miles almost got it back, but he didn't. Hendricks, right side. Two minutes to go in the first half. He gets to Lamon, back to Hendricks. He drives in, back to Lamon. Lamon, spot up jumper, no good. Rebound by Justin Allison. And Allison gets hit in the face, and so they call a foul on number 33, Jason Lamon. Both teams are struggling from the court right now, shooting under 30%. Davis crosses midcourt. Top of the arc to Smith. Smith back to Davis. Davis right side, and he throws it to Allen, and it goes out of bounds, but it will stay Tiger basketball. Allison set to trigger it in in front of the West Alabama pet band here at Pruitt today. Davis on the right side. 12 on the shot clock at 10, at nine. Left wing now at seven to Miles at six, at five to Allen at four. He pump fakes, he goes up, strong, kept the basket. Third time's the charm, oh. That's right. Minute 20 to go, six point Tiger lead. Hendricks crosses midcourt, top of the arc. Gets it to Kennedy. Kennedy, inside pass, goes to McGuirk, and he lays it in for two. 26-22. Both teams breaking their scoring drought on back-to-back -back possessions as we close in on halftime. Allison, left side, hands it off to Allen. Allen to Smith. Smith to Miles. Miles, right wing, driving in. He stops, turnaround jumpers up, and good. <laughs> Hendricks crosses midcourt for the Flames, top of the arc, on the left wing, driving in, lays it up and no good, but he's fouled, so he'll hit the line of shoot two. 
Tiger Bench looked very upset that the refs did not see the hook used to get by Allison. So Hendricks at the foul line, shooting two, first one's up and good to make it a 28-23 score for the Tigers. Coach Woodruff is gonna use his timeout. He's got, he'll have three left after this one. If he didn't use it going into halftime, he'd lose it anyway. So we will take a short break and we come back, we'll finish up this first half. You're listening to West Alabama Men's Welcome back to Pruitt Hall here on the campus of West Alabama. Hendricks at the line for Lee. And his shot is up and it is good to make it a 28-24 score for the Tigers. 29 on the shot clock, 28 on the game clock. Allen to Smith, back to Davis. Davis, top of the arc, dribbles it right side. Davis on the right wing, shot clock at 10, at nine, at eight. Top of the arc, left side to Hill. Hill to Davis at five, at four. To the corner, Allen at two, shot up, no good. Rebound controlled by Lee, and that is gonna be halftime as the Tigers will take a four point lead into the locker room here at halftime. We're gonna take a short break and we come back, we will have halftime team and player stats. You're listening to West Alabama Men's Basketball Welcome back to Pruitt Hall, as currently West Alabama on top, lead 28-24 here in this GSC game. Daniel Tully is joined alongside me, and he is going to go over the team and player stats for both teams. Right, Mark, starting off with West Alabama, who currently leads by four points. We've got Shadarian Allen with a total of eight points, shooting four for eight and a 50% from the field, missing that force three there at the end of the half with three rebounds, an assist, and no fouls, playing 14 minutes. He's being very crucial right now to the game. Justin, he's having a hard shooting night so far, 0 of 5, 0 of 4 from 3, but he's got six rebounds, three assists, with two fouls and only one turnover. Pretty good with his 19 minutes, considering. Then we've got Robert Davis with three points, shooting 1 of 4, 1 of 1 from 3, hitting one of our only two made three-point uh, three shots. 
with four rebounds, two assists, one foul. He has also played 19 minutes. He doesn't have a lot of points, but he is making a huge impact. Tay Smith uh, with zero points, 0 of 1 from the field with an assist, one foul, and 12 minutes. We've got Cortric Miles with a team leading 13 points, although he's having some troubles with four of 13 from the field, hitting one of one from three, and he's hit all four team free throws, four of four. Five rebounds, an assist, no fouls, which is gonna be very important for the Tigers moving forward, as he is going to be our needed scorer down the stretch playing 16 minutes. We've got C.J. Melton who checked in briefly to get uh, two fouls in his two minutes. We've got Haven Hill who has also checked in very briefly. Uh, Martin who checked in, got two points, one of two, uh, being a great defensive force, two rebounds with one foul in four minutes. We've got Calvin Finch with two points, one of two from the field with one rebound in his eight minutes. Now looking at the Flames, We've got Kennedy with one point, shooting 0 for 6 right now, and he's hit one of two free throws with five rebounds, one, uh, two assists, two personal fouls, and 17 minutes of play. Hendricks with two points, 0 of 3 from the field, two of two from free throw, three rebounds in his 17 minutes. We've got McGuire with five points, one of four from the field, hitting one of two from three and two from two from free throw with a rebound and one turnover. we got Willingham with six points, two of nine from the field, 0 for 2 from deep, two free throws, and four rebounds and assists in his 17 minutes. We got McGuire with five points, two of three from the field, and one of two from free throws, and six rebounds. Then we got uh, Bowler who checked in briefly. We've got Smith who shot 0 of 2, got a rebound, uh, three fouls quickly and one turnover. Landman with five points off the bench, two of five from the field, one of one from free throw with five rebounds and a foul. Now as we look at the stats for each team, neither team is having a great shooting night as the Tigers lead field goal percentage 31 to 22 percent. Tigers have made 11 of 35 versus the Flames 7 of 32. From deep, the Tigers are only shooting 25 percent, which is two of eight. And the Flames are shooting 11%, which is one of nine. So pretty much the same shooting split so far. The difference has really been the free throw, where the Tigers have made all their free throws, but they've only gone to the line four times. The Flames have been to the line 11 times, making nine of them for an 82% team percentage. Again, close is the turnovers. The Flames lead the Tigers four turnovers to three. Points off turnovers, on the other hand, Tigers lead with six to zero. So the Tigers have been capitalizing almost every turnover. We have a 26 to 24 rebounding advantage going to the Flames and a 16 to 16 split defensively and the offensive rebounds 10 to eight. Uh, second chance points, so again, is gonna go to the Tigers with six points to four. The bench has been pretty much the same matchup wise. The Flames have had five points off the bench where the Tigers have only had four. Points in the paint again close as the Tigers have 14 versus the Flames 12. Fast break points are gonna go four to zero for the Tigers. Blocks are dead even five each team. Stills again dead even two each team. The Tigers lead a lead and assist eight assists to three. Pretty close game when you look at it all down the stat sheet. The difference so far being the free throw attempts because neither team is really having a great shooting night, which is coming expected. We're knowing both of these teams, and this is the rematch of a very physical game a few weeks ago. Tigers have been waiting on this, have been looking for this date since then. And as you can see, it is going just how everyone thought it would. Very physical, very tough fought game so far. 28 to 20 for the Tigers. Uh, as we come back into the half soon, uh, we're going to look to see uh, any defensive and offensive adjustments made by either team and see if either coach is going to try to make any big adjustments coming into the second half.
Welcome back to Pruitt Hall here in West Alabama. It is halftime and the Tigers are beating Lee currently 28-24. We've got about six minutes to go until we start the second half. We're gonna take a look at some other games going on in the GSC. Some pretty important games are playing today. Playing in Montgomery currently, Auburn Montgomery is hosting Union and Auburn Montgomery is winning 48 to 43 with 16 minutes to go in the second half. And that's a pretty important game to keep your eye out if you're a West Alabama fan or a Lee fan. If, uh, if AUM ends up getting the upset win against Union, that would move Union to 10 and three in GSC play. And that would be the same amount of losses as the Tigers and Lee. And so that's something to keep an eye out this afternoon. We'll try and keep you updated as the afternoon continues. And also happening down in Valdosta, Georgia, Valdosta State is beating West Florida 80 to 79 with 32 seconds to go in that one. We will pull that one up and see if we can keep you updated as that game concludes. But also going on today, Christian Brothers playing over in Montevallo currently leading at halftime, 32-29. And in the second half, UAH is defeating Shorter, 53-39 with 15.58 to go in the second half. And West Alabama has taken the floor for second half warm-ups. And Lee has taken the floor for second half uh, warm-ups, excuse me. And Auburn Montgomery has made another jump shot, so they are now up 51-44. And looks like West Florida just tied it up at 81 at Valdosta. Valdosta now has a chance to win it. And they call a foul with 2.6 seconds to go there in the second half. We've got the live stream pulled up here. West Alabama would love it if Valdosta State could get the win today over, over West Florida. That would drop West Florida to nine and four in conference play. The four teams that are still in position to possibly have a chance to win the conference that have good chances are Union, West Florida, West Alabama, and Lee. So Valdosta State's got a player at the line shooting two with 2.6 seconds left. And here in Livingston, we've got about three minutes until the second half begins. And here as we're get going in the second half, both teams not shooting the ball very well, as we talked about during the team stats. Lee, 21%, and the Tigers, 31%. Free throw percentage, 100% for the Tigers, but only four free throw attempts. And Lee, 81%. So now Valdosta State's got an 83-81 point lead with 2.6 seconds to go. And we're gonna take a short break and we come back, we're gonna bring you second half basketball action here from Livingston. You're listening to West Alabama
Welcome back to Pruitt Hall here in Livingston, Alabama, as we are about to get the second half underway here in this one. A good crowd here for a Saturday afternoon game. It's the Tigers are hosting Lee, and at halftime, lead them 28-24. And on the court for the Tigers to begin the second half, it's going to be Allison, Miles, Allen, Davis, and Tay Smith. And for Lee, Kennedy, Willingham, Hendricks, Lamon, and McGuirk for the Flames. Davis triggers it into Allison. And Allison gets it to Miles, top of the arc, and he hands it back to Allison. Allison, top of the arc now, dribbles it right side, on the right wing, up top to Allen. Allen drives in left side, jump shots up, and he misses it, almost got it to go. McGuirk with the rebound. Hendricks on the right side to Kennedy. Kennedy to McGuirk. McGuirk, left wing, up top to Lamon. Lamon to Hendricks. Hendricks, right side to Kennedy, corner. Inside to Lamon. Lamon, right block, guarded by Miles. Turn around, fade away, jump shots up, no good. Smith with the rebound. Allison on the right wing, up top to Smith, to Davis. Davis to Miles. Miles to Smith. Smith to Allison, right side. Allison to Davis. Davis on the right short corner, back and down. Turn around, layup is up, and good. Great move. Spinning off the weak side. What a great move by Davis. And Hendricks, top of the arc. Gets it to Hendricks. Hendricks, top of the arc, dribbling it right side. Passes it to the corner to Willingham, who drives in, and his shot is blocked by Tay Smith. Got his own rebound, and he got the basket to fall. Allison on the left wing, hands it off to Allen. Allen to Miles, to Davis, Davis to Smith. Smith to Miles, Miles top of the arc to Allen. Allen to Davis, Davis left short corner, out, throws it out to Allison. Allison steps into a wide open three ball, bottom. 33, 26, 18 minutes to go. Hendricks to Kennedy, Kennedy to McGuirk, inside to Lamon. Lamon, right short corner, out to Hendricks. To McGuirk for three, no good, air balls it. Goes out of bounds, Tiger basketball. And we got a final from Valdosta. Valdosta State gets the upset over West Florida, 84-81. So that is good news for West Alabama and Lee fans. Smith, right side, up top to Miles, to Davis. Davis, left wing. Davis on the left side, dribbles it now, top of the arc, calls for a screen, he gets it. On the right side, three ball up, no good. Rebound goes to Lamon. Lamon to Kennedy, Kennedy, left side, driving in, spins around, loses the ball, gets it back. Kennedy guarded by Davis. And he picks up his dribble, gets him at work, inside pass, it goes out of bounds. It'll be Tiger basketball. Looks like the Tigers are starting to bring back that defensive intensity we saw early on in the first five minutes. And it's starting to make a difference once again. That's right, Daniel, as Allison crosses midcourt. Gets it to Davis, right side, up top to Miles. Miles to Allison. Allison begins to dribble it, top of the arc on the right side, driving in. Stops to Miles, turn around, jump shots up, and he buries it. 35-26, 16-45 to go in the ball game. Hendricks on the left wing, gets it to McGuirk, up top to Kennedy, right side to Willingham, to Lamon, Lamon to Hendricks, Hendricks drives in, out to McGuirk who drives in, goes up and he slams it home. Allison crosses midcourt, right side to Davis, Davis up top to Miles, Miles dribbles it left side, and he picks up his dribble, gets it to Smith, to Allison. 
Allison calls for a screen, he gets it. Drives by, kicks it to Smith, pump fake, driving in, floaters up, no good, rebound goes out of bounds, Tiger basketball. Smith coming up a bit slowly. Let's see if Coach asks for a sub, and he will with Calvin Finch preparing to come in for what we presume will be Tay Smith. We hope that Tay is okay as he's kind of coming off the court with the help of his players. And it doesn't look like he's putting much pressure at all on his left leg. He's saying his ankle. So Allison will trigger it in, and now the officials stop play again. Allison inbounds it to Miles. Miles turn around, jump shots up, no good. Lambin with the rebound to Hendricks. Hendricks crosses midcourt, left side, stops, drives in all the way, goes up for two, gets it to go. 35-30 is your score. Davis crosses midcourt, left side. 35-30, 15-40 to go. To Allen, Allen, right wing. Dribbles it, left side, top of the arc now. To Miles, Miles, to Allison. Allison, left wing, pump fakes, driving in. Layup is up, and count the basket and the foul. What Justin Allison will head to the line to convert, and then one. Seems like any time the Tigers are going to the free throw line tonight, it is only on made baskets. So we've got a media timeout. We come back, Justin Allison will be at the Cheerleader Stripes shooting one. You're listening to West Alabama. Portrait Miles, excuse me, Justin Allison at the free throw line for the Tigers. After making the layup and when he got fouled by Quay Kennedy. On the court for the Tigers, Davis, Allen, Finch, Miles, and Allison. Free throw is up and good to make it an eight point game. Hendricks has the ball for Lee, crosses midcourt right side. Hands it off to Kennedy, up top to McGuire. McGuire to Bowler, Bowler right wing. Gives it right side to Hendricks and they say that he traveled. Another costly turnover there for the Flames as the Tiger basketball. Robert Davis bring the ball across the court for the Tigers. Get to see Tay Smith back out of the locker room. He's definitely in some pain, but he is standing up on his both of his ankles, Allison, right side. Top of the arc, dribbles it left side now. On the left wing, gets it to Allen. Allen, left short corner, kicks it out to Allison. Allison throws up a three, no good. Rebound by Willingham. Willingham to Kennedy. Kennedy, left side, driving in, guarded by Allison and Davis. Out to Hendricks, right side to McGuire. He drives in, jump shots up, no good. Rebound, Portrait Miles. Miles hands it off to Davis. Davis to Allison. Allison, top of the arc, left side to Allen. Allen to Allison, to Davis, right side. Davis dribbles it right side to Finch. Finch, right short corner. He pivots, turns back around to Davis. Davis 
drives in to Allison in the corner. Three ball is up, and he buries it. He buries it, 41-30, Tigers lead 11. Hendricks, right side to Kennedy. Kennedy on the right side. Right side to Willingham. Willingham inside to Bowler. And looked like he went up for two and his shot was blocked. Is that Justin that blocked it? Justin Allison from behind just swatted it away. My goodness. Smallest guy on the court with the biggest block of the night possibly. CJ Mountain checks in for Robert Davis. And Willingham has it. He gets it right side to Bowler, to McGuire. McGuire in the corner, and he gets it up top to P.J. Smith. P.J. Smith, top of the arc, spins around, almost lost it, got it back, driving in at five. At four, foul called on the Tigers. It would seem as though Coach Woodruff really wanted the team to get back to that defensive stand that they made in the first half, and they have come out swinging. But Allison with another block. Allen on the floor, and they believe they call a jump ball. And positioner is in favor of Lee. How about that? Do you expect to see Justin Allison with two blocks and back-to-back -back plays? He's got three blocks tonight. Those last two were big time. Big blocks. Kennedy set to trigger it in for the Flames. Gets it to Willingham, to Smith. Smith, top of the arc, to Willingham. Willingham drives in, goes up strong, no good. Rebound goes to Shadarian Allen. He falls to the ground, timeout, Tigers. What a great rebound and play defensively by Shadarian Allen. Tigers are up 13-24. No, they're not. That's the time. I'm sorry. I'm losing my mind here at Pruitt Hall. And we're going to take a short break so I can get my thoughts together. You're listening to West Alabama. Welcome back to Pruitt Hall here in Livingston, Alabama. Tigers have stepped it up defensively and offensively. 41-30, 6-0 run over the last two minutes. Lee hadn't hit a shot in the last two and a half minutes. And Tigers have an 11-point lead. Scoring here could be a big turn of events as the Tigers have made a stand defensively to stop the Flames here in the second half. Allison crosses midcourt, hands it off to Miles. Miles to Finch, Finch to Allen. Allen, left wing, he pivots and he gets it to Melton. Melton to Allison. Allison, top of the arc. Allison dribbles the right side, driving in. Goes behind his back, goes back in. Pump fake, goes up strong and he's fouled, so he'll head to the charity stripe to shoot two. Justin Allison seemingly taking over the game right now with back-to-back -back blocks, hitting threes, and now drawing fouls to go to the line. Justin on the night, nine points, six rebounds, four assists, three blocks, one steal. And he had zero coming into the second half, so what a turn of events for Allison here. So somebody's efficiency rating is when they're <laughs> on the court, it's how good or bad the team is doing. And right now, Justin's is 16. Now it's 17, which means that when Justin has been on the court, the Tigers 
are beating Union by 17 points, essentially. Yeah, I believe in the pros they call it the plus minus. Yes, that is it. As he makes the first free throw, second one is up, second one's good, 43-30. Big shots. Hendricks, excuse me, P.J. Smith crosses midcourt, right side to McWork. McWork, left side goes to Smith, Smith on the left wing, right side to McWork, right side inside pass to Lamon. Lamon gets it to McGuire who goes up strong and gets the layup to fall. Melton, left wing, dribbles it now, top of the arc, on the right side to Allen. Allen drives in left side, gets it to Finch, Finch to Allison, left side. Allison driving in, goes behind his back, falls to the ground, gets back up. Allison at five, at four, at three, at two, driving in at one, gets it, uh, turnover. Lamon got it, Smith has it now, crosses the court, right side. Gets it left side to McGuire, who drives in to Lamon. Lamon, left side to McGuire. McGuire driving in, guarded by Milton. And he stops, gives it to Lamon, excuse me, McGuire, and they call traveling on McGuire. We're seeing the Flames starting to play with a certain kind of desperation. I think they can tell that their game right now is up for grabs and they need a foothold desperately. That's right. And we've got another media timeout, so we're going to take a short break as the Tigers are on top, 43 to 32, with 11.54 to go here in the second half. You're listening to West Alabama. Robert Davis has the ball for the Tigers. He crosses midcourt now, top of the arc. 11.45 to go in the ball game. Davis dribbles it left side, hands it off to Martin, to Finch, Finch to Allen, right side. Pivots to Melton, top of the arc. Melton at 10 on the shot clock. Hands it off to Allen, Allen at eight, at seven, at six. Jump shots up and he buries it. 45, 32, Tigers lead by 13. Smith on the right side, gets it right side to McGuire. McGuire to Kennedy, Kennedy to Lamon, Lamon. Looks, dribbles left side to Kennedy. Kennedy driving in left side, throws it out to the corner. McGuire for three, and he buries it. Big shot there for Lee to cut it to 10. CJ Milton, top of the arc. Dribbles it right side to Allen. Allen, right wing, driving in right side, stops. Kicks it out to Martin. Martin on the right wing, back to Allen. Allen, backing down the post. Being double teamed, kicks it out to Davis. To Melton in the corner. Melton drives in, almost lost it to Finch. Finch goes up strong, and his layup falls. 47-35, Tigers lead, 10 and a half to go. Smith on the right side, hands it off to Kennedy. Up top to McGuire. McGuire, left side to McGuirk. McGuirk to Kennedy. Kennedy in the post, turn around, fade away, jump shots up, and no good, Lamon with the rebound. He goes up strong, and he gets it to fall. Just trading buckets back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth as we go. C.J. Milton crosses midcourt for the Tigers. 
Top of the arc, calls out the Tiger play. Right side to Allen. Allen, pump fakes, back to Milton. Milton, spot up, three balls up, and no good. Rebound goes to Shadarian Allen. Allen gets it back to Milton. Milton, top of the arc now. Right side to Allen. Allen, back to C.J. Milton. Milton inside to Finch. Finch goes up strong and he slams it home. What a dunk by Finch as we saw him cut back door and the Flames did not. That is Sumter County's finest. Absolutely. P.J. Smith on the right side for Lee. Top of the arc. Left side to Lamon. Lamon turns around. Left side to Smith. Smith on the left corner. Inside to Kennedy. Kennedy guarded by Melton. Kicks it, kicks it out to McGuire. He shoots a three and he misses it. Rebound goes to Calvin Finch. And I was going to say, what a unique lineup we have on the floor right now. Uh, oddball players that we're not used to seeing put together as Allison and Kortrick are sitting to get a breather really quick, but they are playing great. Martin to Milton. Milton, left side. 10 on the shot clock. Top of the arc now. Right side to Allen. Allen at 7. At 6. Splits the double team. Step back. Jump shots up. No good. Rebound goes to Jason Lamon. To Quay Kennedy. Kennedy crosses midcourt. Right side. Right wing. Dribbling. Step back. Three ball up. And no good. Rebound goes to CJ Milton. Melton crosses midcourt for the Tigers. At the, guarded by McGuire. Melton's got it. He dribbles it left side to Martin. Martin, left wing, gets it to Davis. Davis, right short corner, kicks it out to Martin. Martin shoots a three, no good. Rebound goes to Lamon. Lamon to Smith. Smith, top of the arc, drives in right side, stops, kicks it to Lamon. Lamon driving in. Flutters up and it's denied by Shadarian Allen. Seems to be a block party's going on here in Pruitt tonight. Davis crosses McCourt on the left wing. Top of the arc now. Davis has it. Shot clock ticking. Now at 10. And Martin's got it. Right short corner. Excuse me, left short corner. Kicks it to Allen. Allen at five. At four. At three. At two. Dribbling, got to throw something up, it goes out of bounds, and it'll be Tiger basketball, and they call a shot clock violation. So, it'll be Lee basketball. Will Lee come back from this media timeout? UWA on top, 49-37, with 7.20 to go. You're listening to West Alabama. Welcome back to Pruitt Hall here as the Tigers lead 49-37 with 7.20 to go in the ball game. On the court for the Tigers, Justin Allison, Robert Davis, Caven Hill, Courtra Miles, and we are so glad that Tay Smith is back out there. And for Lee, it is Hendricks, McGuire, McGuirk, Willingham, and Quay Kennedy. Hendricks crosses midcourt. Right side of Kennedy. Kennedy, right wing, driving again. Almost lost it, got it back, kicks it out to Hendricks. Hendricks, right side, right side to McGuire. Back to Kennedy. Kennedy, right block, goes up strong. Layup is good. 10 point game. Look for the Tigers to start using some of the clock up as we are drawing close to the end of the game. Davis gives it to Allison. Allison, right side, driving in, stops. 
Hands it off to Davis. Davis on the right wing to Miles. Miles, top of the arc. Pivots. Pivots again, driving in right side. Layup is up and good. 51-39. Tough finish. Hendricks on the left side. Stops. Guarded by Allison. Hendricks looks left, gives it to McGuirk. McGuirk driving in. Goes up. Shot swatted away by Tay Smith. Another block. The Tigers now with 10. Allison falls to the ground. Gives it to Miles. Miles driving in. Stops. Jump shot up. No good. Uh, Willingham with the rebound. Willingham gives it to Hendricks. Hendricks crosses midcourt, left side. Driving in, and a blocking foul is called on Justin Allison. Tough one there, but I just don't think Allison had enough time to set his feet and get in position to take that charge, but good effort. So, B.U. and Hendricks gonna trigger it in for the Flames, and he gets it in. Hendricks, top of the arc, and now a foul is called on Lee's number one, Quay Kennedy. And that's Kennedy's fourth personal foul of the game. That's huge. That is very huge. He has been a difference maker for them, even though the box score is not showing it right now. The Flames were to lose him early in this game, it might be a big hit to their offense. Allison, top of the arc. Gives it left side to Davis. Davis to Smith. Smith to Miles. Miles, right side. Drives in, stops, goes up, layup is up and good to make it 53-39. What a beautiful up and under. Cortric Miles really starting to get things going offensively and the Flames have to take a timeout as Cortric has got all shots falling for him and they cannot seem to guard him at the moment. And we're gonna take a short timeout break. Here's the Tigers from top, 14 points. You're listening to West Alabama. Welcome back to Pruitt Hall here at West Alabama. UWA is beating Lee 53-39. And it's gonna be Lee basketball on the floor for the Tigers. Courtrick Miles, Caven Hill, CJ Milton, Tay Smith, and Robert Davis. Kennedy set to trigger it in. He's got four fouls. Willingham, Hendricks, right side to Kennedy. Kennedy driving in, gets it to Willingham. He goes up, layup is up and good, 53-41. Davis, top of the arc. 5.05 remaining on the game clock, 15 on the shot clock. Davis dribbles it left side, gets it left side to Miles. Miles kicks it out to Smith, Smith at eight at seven, at six, to Hill at four, at five, Smith at four, at three, to Miles at two, at one, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound goes to Quay Kennedy. Kennedy coming the other way with it, crosses midcourt, right side, stops, Willingham, left side to McGuire. McGuire, left wing, gets it to Willingham, Willingham on the block, gets it to Hendricks, who goes up strong and gets the layup to fall to cut it to a 10 point lead. Davis on the right side for the Tigers. Right wing, gets it to Smith. Smith dribbles it left side to Miles. Miles hands it off to Melton. Melton to Smith. Smith right side, back to Melton. Melton left side. Melton's got it at five, at four, at three. Driving in, spins around. Fadeaway jump shot is up and it is good. 55-43, 3.55 to go. 
And the Tiger bench is loving that one as CJ hits a tough, much needed turnaround fadeaway over the defender. As the shot clock buzzer sounded. What a beautiful shot. And we've got immediate timeout, so we are gonna take a break. Oh, excuse me. I think we have a technical. We do. I didn't see what happened. Number 55, Quartet Miles was issued with a technical foul. Not sure what happened, but we do have the media timeout. So we will take a break. When we come back, we'll finish up this ball game. You're listening to what? Welcome back to Pruitt Hall as we just got a technical foul is issued to Quartet Miles. And that'll send Quake Kennedy to the foul line tonight. This is the second trip. He's one for two tonight. First one is up, and it is good. Four points for him. But he's also got six rebounds and four assists. Two blocks for Kennedy. Second free throw is up. No good. 55-44 is the score, 355 remaining in the ball game. During that timeout, Coach Woodruff is telling his guys, play smart, don't, don't give up anything. Don't make dumb decisions. Right. I mean, they have an 11 point lead, they've worked hard for it, and they have no reason just to give it away with only four minutes left. Hendricks gives it to Kennedy. Kennedy driving in, gives it to Lamman, or Willingham, excuse me, and he went up for a layup. And he missed it, but he got fouled. And then number 55, Quartet Miles, got issued with that foul. So that's his fourth foul of the game, I believe. Excuse me, third personal foul for Quartrick. Willingham, first one is up, and it's good. And Justin Allison checks back into the game for CJ Melton. Willingham, again out of Jasper, Alabama. Second free throw, up and good. And now a substitution. Michael McGuirk checks into the ball game for Coy Kennedy. Allen. And they call a foul. On number 13, PJ Smith. Bad, bad foul for Lee, quick foul that's by a, 13. That's his fourth personal foul of the ball game. And he's, he's gonna be subbed out. And so Allen sits to inbound it. Lee full court pressing to Smith. Smith gets it and he gets it to Davis. Davis ahead to Allen. Allen gets it out to Allison on the left wing. Allison backs it up to reset things. Clock ticking away here. Allen has it to Smith. Smith gets it to Miles, right wing. Dribbles it right side to Allen. Allen, right short corner, backing down at four. At three, at two, turns around, jump shot up, and he buries it. 57, 46, Tiger lead is 11. Hendricks, left side now, guarded by Allison. Left side pass goes to McGuire. Three ball up, and he buries that one to make it 57-49.
three minutes to go. We got a timeout on the floor, so we'll take a short timeout. As Tiger lead is 57-49, you're listening to West Alabama Men's Davis on the right side for the Tigers. 2.40 remaining in the ball game. Davis, left side to Allison. Allison to Miles. Miles back in the post, back to Allison at five. And Allison throws it to Allen at three, at two. Miles lost it, got it back. Davis throws it up, no good. And a shot clock violation is called. And so that will give Lee the basketball with two minutes and 26 seconds remaining. 57-49 is your score. <laughs> CJ Milton checking into the ball game for Tay Smith. So Hendricks gets it as he crosses midcourt on the left side. Dribbles it left side to McGuire. To Willingham, to Hendricks. Hendricks to McGuire. McGuire on the left side to Kennedy. Kennedy at 14, driving in, stops, goes up, and an and offensive charge is called, and that'll do it for Quay Kennedy. What a beautiful charge set by Allison, sliding in there at the perfect time. He seems to be very good at drawing those, and that will get Kennedy up and out of here. And Justin Allison took a hard fall, but he gets back up and walks it off. And so to be Tiger basketball. The officials are meeting about something, not sure what they're talking about. And so Shadarian Allen set the trigger it in. 207 remaining in the ball game. To Miles on the fast break. Miles lost the pass and it goes out of bounds and it'll be the Lee basketball. Miles was wide open. Tried to throw the Hail Mary there. They did. Melton checks back into the game for Tay Smith. <laughs> Hendricks coming the other way. Top of the arc. Takes a step back, drives in right side. Goes up. No, he doesn't. Kicks it out to McGuirk. McGuirk goes up strong. No good. Rebound goes to McGuirk. He goes up and he gets the way up to fall and he's fouled so he'll head to the charity stripe to try and convert an M1. Second trip to the line for McGuirk, and he makes it. So it's 57 52, minute 52 remaining in the ballgame. Allen gets it to Davis. Davis gets it back to Allison. Allison gets it to Smith. Smith on the left side of the court, left wing to Miles. Miles, left corner. Driving baseline, he goes, he gets fouled. And they call that foul a number four, Makai McGuire. So that's McGuire's first 
excuse me, second foul of the ball, excuse me, first foul of the ball game. Allison to Miles, back to Allison. Allison at the left wing, top of the arc, 14, 13 at 12. Shot clock ticking, minute 28 remaining. Allison shoots a three and he misses it and the rebound is controlled by McGuirk. He gets it ahead to Jalen Page. Page on the left wing. Page gets it left side to McGuirk. Excuse me, Willingham, he goes up. His shot is no good, it goes out of bounds. It'll be Tiger basketball. Looks like the refs are gonna call that one off on Hendricks of the Flames. And there seems to be a bit of a dispute. Well, I think the dispute is Lee doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to be their ball. Allen sets it inbound it. And he gets it to Davis. Davis being double teamed. And he gets it ahead to Miles. Miles on the left side. Miles is fouled by Hendricks. And so that's Hendricks's first foul of the ball game. It seems Lee is left no choice but to start fouling as we are approaching one minute left. If we keep up the trend of our made free throws, I think this game might be over. Kortrick, first one is up and it is good. 58-52, minute three remaining in the ball game. Eight for eight from free throws for the Tigers. Miles, second free throw is up, and it is good to make it 59-52, 103 remaining in the ball game. Tay Smith checks out, CJ Melton checks in. McGuire inbounds it to Hendricks, and Hendricks crosses the court, top of the arc, hands it off to McGuire. McGuire driving in right side, goes up, layup is up, and they call goaltending, and so they'll count the basket. 59, 54 is the score, 54 seconds remaining. Smith checks in for Melton. P.J. Smith checks in for Michael McGuirk. Shadarian Allen set to inbound it. He gets it into Davis. Davis gives it to Allison. Allison. And they call a travel on Justin Allison. And so that is a very unfortunate turnover for the Tigers. Five point game, Lee basketball. 59-54, 49.9 seconds remaining. We got a ways to go in this one. It's gonna be a long 50 seconds. It will be. As Page has it, gets it up top to Hendricks. Hendricks driving in, takes a step back, left side to Page. Page on the left wing, driving in right side. Gets it ahead to Willingham and he slams it home to make it a three point game. And Allison is now fouled pretty hard. And that will be free throws for the Tigers. It will be, it was on Jalen Page. I don't think it was anything personal. I think it was just he was going for the basketball. I don't think he meant to do that. I think I think they threw the ball in before he could have had a chance to stop and he ran into Allison. I don't think they wanted the foul there. Justin Allison tonight, 11 points, six rebounds, five assists, three blocks and one steal. First free throw up, and it's good. Justin sets in for a second free throw. It is up. And it's no good. Rebound goes to Willingham. Willingham to Hendricks. Hendricks crosses midcourt, left wing. Driving in left side, goes up strong. Left-handed layup is up and good to make it a two-point game. 
And we're gonna stay here during this timeout. It's a full timeout, but we will quickly go over the GSC scores from today as we've had a couple other games gone final. And pretty important game going on in Montgomery has gone final. Auburn Montgomery was defeated by Union 86-83. AUM fell just a little bit short on the upset bid. And Christian Brothers and Montevallo also playing, and they've got 30 seconds left in theirs. And Montevallo is on top 67 to 65 with 30 seconds to go. Daniel, what do you expect to see here in the final 30 seconds? What do the Tigers need to do to hold on to get a win? The Tigers need to definitely get the ball in, secure the ball, and make sure they have played defense. The fast, past few possessions, they have just lacked a sense of urgency on the defensive end, and they've just fallen asleep. And we've seen that because the Flames have scored in just succession in like seven seconds in back-to-back -back plays. What used to be a 10-point lead has been cut to two in less than a minute. That's right, and you gotta be impressed with how this defense has responded after giving up 88 to Union on Thursday night. For sure, I mean, big step up, but it, it seems like there's been a, a sense of inconsistency from the Tigers defensively. They came out of the game with a very strong sense of defense, fell asleep in the second half, second bit of the first half, came out of the second half with that same tenacity, and they appear to have fallen back asleep. Davis set to trigger it in. For the Tigers, he can run the baseline, and he does that. Gets it to Allen, back to Davis. Davis throws it ahead to Allison. Allison catches it, gets it to Smith. Smith goes up, and layup is up, and it is good to make it 62-58. Going the other way, Hendricks has it on the right side. Gets it right side to Smith. Three-point shot up, no good. Tipped around, fought for, controlled by Coltrick Miles. He's fouled, he's headed to the free throw line to and put the dagger in the flames. That might be the end of the flames run there with a big three-pointer. I'm not quite sure why he pulled up considering they have only three of 15 from three tonight. Kortrick has been perfect from the field at the free throw line. So if he can just hit one or two of these, we might see the end of the game. One and one for Kortrick. CJ Melton checking in for Tay Smith. First free throw up, and it's good for Kortrick Miles. 63 58, 10.3 seconds remaining. Second one up, and it's good. 64-58, 10.3 seconds remain. Hendricks gets the ball. He crosses midcourt. Top of the arc, three ball up, and no good. Rebound is controlled by Lee. Shot up at the buzzers, no good. Rebound by Allison. Clock runs out, and the UWA gets the win, 64-58 over Lee University. The Tigers put the game away. Finishing on what they started with, a bit of defense, which was much needed, and the series is now even one-to-one. -one. Each team winning the game at home. Tigers needed that game very badly and will move up over West Florida, if I'm correct. So West Alabama is now 9-3 and three in conference play, and West Florida is 9-4 and four in conference play, so yes. And... Union got the win at AUM, so Union stays in first place at 11 and two now. UWA at nine and three, with two very big road tests coming up this weekend. First one is at West Florida on Thursday night, and we'll be on the radio for that one. And then the Tigers will travel to Valdosta State on Saturday to play against the Blazers. Well, if the Tigers can bring the same defense that they played with tonight, I think they'll fare pretty well, but we will have to see what the matchup will hold for each team in the upcoming week. That is right. So that is going to do it for us.
here from Pruitt Hall. Again, UWA gets the win over Lee University, 64 to 58. UWA improves to 16 and four overall and nine and three in GSC play. And coming up for the Tigers on January, excuse me, February 3rd, we'll be at West Florida and on February 5th at Valdosta State. So also coming up in UWA athletic sports, Baseball begins this upcoming week on Tuesday against Arkansas Monticello. First pitch is scheduled for 2 p.m. at Tart Field, and admission is free, and we want everybody to come out and watch the Tigers on the baseball field. And softball will be on the road at Gulf Shores this weekend at the Gulf Coast Invitational. They'll be playing five games down there, so if you're in the mo the Gulf Shores area and you're a UWA alumni, we'd love to see you come out and support the UWA softball team down there. And also baseball will be at home hosting Columbus State on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. For all your UWA athletics news, you can search uwaathletics.com for all your West Alabama sports information. And so that's going to do it for us. I'm Mark Gillum, and I was joined alongside Daniel Tully. Mr. Wayne Grant's back at the studio for us, and we appreciate everyone listening to West Alabama men's basketball.